Hey, Tim Frisch with a Frisch Perspective here. I've been seeing some really interesting things online about the coming presidential election, and uh, I saw here a tweet from Jenna Ellis, Let's Go, Vote Evangelicals for Trump 2020. A lot of people would expect to see something like this, Evangelicals supporting President Trump. But uh, I have also seen online things about Evangelicals for Biden. And this is actually a website dedicated to uh, this organization that's actually called Evangelicals for Biden. The website here says, Faithful, Compassionate Evangelicals Engaging in the 2020 Election. Joe Biden is a man like any other, but his character and faith set him apart in times of crisis. That's why evangelical Christians across the country will be voting for him in November. Joe Biden has suffered, struggled, and been humbled by life. He understands what regular Americans are facing. He has repeatedly said that his faith is what sustained him through his most difficult times. That same authentic and humble trust in God that has guided his life will be the foundation of Joe Biden's presidency as he leads the United States back to times of unity and prosperity. So I found that website actually a little bit surprising because I know a lot of evangelicals who are very supportive of Trump and would have a lot of issues with Joe Biden. But there was an article from Christianity Today that gives a little bit more background and information as to what's going on. This article by Kate Shelnut says, White evangelicals are actually for Trump in 2020, not just against his opponent. So really this is bringing out the, the idea that evangelicals aren't just voting against Trump's opponent like they were a lot more last time against Clinton. They're actually really excited about Trump. It says, while white evangelicals' support for President Donald Trump is close to the strong backing he enjoyed in 2016, voters' motivations have shifted during his first term at the White House. This year, a majority are excited to get behind Trump rather than being primarily motivated by a distaste for his opponent. Among white evangelical Trump supporters, most characterize their vote in 2020 as for Trump, 57%, and not against Joe Biden, 20% according to new Pew Research Center survey breakouts provided to CT. Last presidential election, the numbers told a different story. White evangelicals voting for the Republican were more likely to say their vote was against Clinton, 45%, than for Trump, 30% in Pew's 2016 survey, which researchers caution isn't directly comparable to the recent numbers because it was done by phone while this year's was done online. A little later, the article says Trump's reputation is also an animating factor on the left, where more Biden voters overall say they are voting against Trump than for Biden. The only religious group that considers itself for Biden is black Protestants. 90% back the former vice president, and over half say they are voting for him and not against the current president, Pew found. In comparison, among the 17% of white evangelicals who lean toward Biden, three quarters say they are motivated to vote against Trump. Nathan Hogue, an evangelical pastor in Colorado, says his choice to vote Democrat has little to do with my approval of Biden and almost everything to do with my disapproval of Trump. He said the decision was easier this year after seeing four years of the administration's policies. Though it's still a minority position among white evangelicals, faith-based opposition to Trump has grown far more organized in 2020 and is focusing on the concerns shared by voters like Hogue. Not Our Faith, a bipartisan Christian super PAC whose advisors include former Obama staffer Michelle Ware, is the latest effort to launch. The organization will join a burgeoning number, Republican voters against Trump, Christians Against Trumpism, Evangelicals for Biden, and Pro-Life Evangelicals for Biden, formed to rally believers to vote the current president out of office. The increasingly vocal opposition cites Christian convictions around issues like racism, health care, poverty, and climate science, as well as concerns with Trump's tone. We believe Christians who use, excuse, and embrace toxic rhetoric to achieve specific policy wins are short-sighted and wrong, stated Christians Against Trumpism. Pro-life evangelicals for Biden said that beyond abortion, Joe Biden's policies are more consistent with the biblically shaped ethic of life than those of Donald Trump. 
Suarez and other evangelicals siding with the president have pushed back against the evangelical minority speaking up for Biden. For white evangelicals who have stood by Trump, this is what they see from the president, a leader who prays and welcomes their prayers and who has kept his promises to improve the economy, uphold pro-life stances, and appoint conservative justices. Like white evangelicals overall, evangelical pastors have grown more confident in the president. At this point in 2016, they were more likely to say that they didn't know whom they'd vote for than to side with candidate Trump, according to a LifeWay research survey. This year's survey found that more than two-thirds of evangelical pastors plan to vote for Trump, 68%. LifeWay found that Pentecostal, 70%, and Baptist pastors, 67%, are more likely to vote for Trump than pastors in the Restorationist movement, 49%, Lutherans, 43%, Presbyterian Reformed, 24%, or Methodists, 22%. The racial divide among evangelical voters holds for pastors too. Only 6% of African American pastors say they support Trump, while a majority, 61%, will be voting for Biden. So I thought that was a really interesting article, and it really ties in with what I was talking about in a recent video where Phil Vischer was giving his own opinion and explanation about why so many black Christians vote Democrat, whereas white Christians tend to vote Republican. So you can watch that video where I talk about Phil Vischer's perspective and give some of my own thoughts on it. But this article definitely shows that you can't lump everybody into the same category. There are various factors at play. And when you put all those factors together, what it sounds like is that this election is going to have more people on both sides really charged. Some people are going to be really charged against Trump the way some people were charged against Hillary Clinton. On the other hand, you're also going to have more people like these white evangelicals that the article is talking about who are now more favorable toward Trump and are actually more excited about voting for him rather than against his opponent. Now I know depending on your background you may have really strong feelings about this one way or another and it's hard for you to see other people's point of view but I think this article really did a good job of breaking down kind of the overall numbers and the factors that are at play. But I just thought what was really interesting and what got me started on this topic was seeing evangelicals for Biden and that there is actually a group named that, not just evangelicals for Trump, which is what I think a lot of people would assume. But if you'd like to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section, I'd love to see them. Just try to keep those comments positive and helpful to discussion. But thank you as always for listening to some of my thoughts on this topic brought to you from a fresh perspective.